Welcome to Jackal Digital. In this video, I'll show you how to make your own images locally or online for free. In this case, I'm showing you an example of image to image inside ConfUI using the default the image to image template, which in this case looks like shit. So you can go to Hugging Face, Spaces, and you'll have a ton of models that you can play around with, including the one that I've used. Well, you can use Quen Image Edit, but using this search, I did not actually find the one that I used. So this one does not look like the one that I've used. So let me just use Quen Image. And I think this is it. Yeah, this is exactly it. So let me use the Mr. T photo that I've used here and the result was terrible. And let me use the exact same prompt. And you do have some advanced settings that you can use, but I will just leave it to default. And when you do get a GPU queue, you may be in luck, but if it takes too long, then you may not get any results. This took about 67 seconds, sped up eight times, and it did give me a result, which is quite decent looking. Well, at least a lot better than the image to image in ConfUI, the template, well, that template looks bad. Not the best result, but then again, the base image was quite bad. As you can see, the dimensions, but the Quen image edit did scale up the image. You do also have that link, and this is what I found. So simply search for Quen image edit ConfUI native, and you'll get this example. You can download the JSON file or simply click and drag the image into the ConfUI workflow. This will immediately pop up if anything is missing. So in this case, I am missing four models, the VAE, the Fusion, and two more. I'm downloading them. And as you can see, this takes a while. So let me come back once that is done. All of the files have now been downloaded. I just need to put them into the correct folders. Now, if you have stability matrix installed, I will show you where you actually have to put those. First, we have the V. So Gwen image, find the Gwen image. It's this one, cut and stability matrix. Previously, I opened just the models and maybe you can put them inside here, but since I'm using ConfUI, I will actually go to packages, ConfUI, models, and this will then go into the VAE folder. Paste it inside. Then we have Gwen image edit. So this is the biggest one, 20 gigabytes. This one will go into the diffusion models, packages, ConfUI, models and diffusion models. Then we have the Quen 2.5 cut. And this one is put into the text encoders. And lastly, we have the Quen image lightning. And this one will go into the LURAS. So everything is now good. We can close this. Let's also open the manager because we need the nodes. Which nodes exactly? And is this still running? It should. It doesn't really find anything. So what I will do now is restart the conf UI. They should now find the models. As for the nodes, well, we'll have to take a look. So we're missing the CFG norm. Let's go with this one first. 
Custom Nodes Manager or just install missing custom nodes. Let's go with this option. Fail to find the following com registry list. Conf UI is outdated, so some built-in nodes cannot be used. Uh, that means I have to update Conf UI. Okay. So I can stop the Conf UI and go back and update it. While this is updating, there is also another thing that you can use for free. Well, you do need a account, but you most likely do have a Gmail account, and that is to use Google's Gemini, or maybe also AI Studio, and you want the, what's it called? Something something banana. So we can take Mr. T. So what I'll do this time is maybe replace the background and not put him onto a street, but maybe in a gym. And also let's take it up a notch and maybe have Mr. T hold the sign, join the gym. Interesting, maybe he tried to create some children, who knows. The image generation cannot make kids. But what I'll try though is go to AI Studio. And yeah, I think this one will do just fine. So I will try the Nano Banana and use the same image and the same prompt. Uh, is this one that failed. Will this one also fail? Who knows? But I guess we'll find soon enough. So it did fail. I guess full of people is not a good context. But what AI Studio has is the option to simply drag the images from previous context windows, unlike the Gemini, which you cannot do. At least it doesn't show up. Let's go with full of bodybuilders and have the man all design, join the gym. Okay, here is my image, contact, content blocked. Let's maybe go with just replacing the background so we can see what the issue is. Is it the sign? Is it the background? I guess it's the background. So maybe let's go with the sign first. Huh, interesting. What is that? Maybe it has to do something with the skin or the exposure, who knows. So maybe let me try and putting some clothes on, have the man wear a tux, if it understands that that's supposed to be a tuxedo, so content blocked. Interesting. So I have no idea what the issue is. Maybe let me try and find some different image. Maybe this one's decent, he's exposed, he also doesn't have any background. So we could put some clothes on him, add background and also add a sign. Let's see, can I just click and drag the image in? Uh, I cannot, so I do need to download it. Okay, so let's see, have the win with a tux and the update is done. Okay, so I guess there was something wrong with the image. This one is good as you can see. We can now also change the background maybe to a ballroom and we'll also keep this nice vignette effect. So we do have a vignette effect and we have a ballroom. Now what could be the last thing to change? Maybe instead of this towel he will be holding hmm, a glass of champagne or maybe a bottle of champagne, like he wants to open it. So maybe this one will remove the towel and instead of the towel he will be opening a champagne bottle and there will be eager guests around him with their glasses to be poured in. So I do not expect, or at least my vision is, for no other people to be in the image in front of him, just a bunch of hands holding a glass.
and we'll see how far this takes us. And I have also no idea what the limitation is on the free plan, meaning how many images you can actually generate. Well, I guess this one, is it good? Kind of good, but he looks... This one is still the same, he has like the, like the confidence, but this one is just like, yeah. So we would have to fix the expression, then maybe also change the bow tie to a red one. No, this is more like it. He looks happy, he does have red bow tie. Let's take a closer look at the image. So the fingers here look off, the thumb looks broken, also these two fingers look off. But the hands look decent on this side. Yeah, I guess this image is a pass. What about the other faces? This one's okay, the other ones are blurry, so that is acceptable. Yeah, this is okay. Since ConfUI has been updated, let's see if this will actually now work as intended. Reload the page. Everything looks okay. So in here you also have instructions where you have to put the models. So this now loads the models, upload the image, and maybe I'll just use the same image. This one, because this one did not work. I expect this one to at least do something because we're now running it locally. So I started with this text. I'll just copy and paste the whole prompt. And if I have to be specific, maybe I have to type in green background. Do I have to change anything else? And hopefully I can record while this will be doing its thing. Otherwise I'll have to stop the recording and show you the result. At the moment everything still looks okay. So is this doing something? It is loading the diffusion model. Oh yeah, the GPU that I'm using is an RTX 3080 with 10 gigabytes. Well, we do have something, we do have the man, we don't have a green background. I believe a sign is being added. Yep, that's definitely a sign. There's also some people in the background, but we'll have to wait a little bit longer to see the actual result. Now, oh, can you see that this was made with AI? Definitely. The skin does look kind of plasticky, but you can definitely tell that this is Mr. T to join the gym. We have a bunch of people in the background. They also do look okay. Except maybe this leg. We do not see a person behind who this leg would belong to. Otherwise, okay. You also can see that the image resolution was scaled up. Definitely looks a bit plasticky. Awesome, nonetheless, at least we got something which we couldn't get with the Nano Banana. But how long did this actually take? Let's see. This is the result, so 4 minutes and a half-ish. So the output by default is put under the ConfUI output. So we have this abomination. And, and this one. And this one, that actually does look decent. So what I can do now is just for a test, put this image in. And this time maybe we'll just replace the clothing so he's in maybe a tuxedo. And also keep the buffiness so the tux will be tight. Now I think this is okay except for the expression. 
I would like for it to be a little bit more pumped. So we'll have Mr. T be in tux with the red bow tie. He will be angry and he should split the sign into two halves down the middle. So let's see what we got and how long this actually takes. Now this is more like it. Let's see how long did this one take? Four minutes. So a little bit faster than the previous one. But I definitely like this result better. And we also have like tight tucks to show the muscular build. He looks angrily and down the middle tear is actually down the middle. Looking at it a bit closely. Now we don't have drawings on the hand anymore. This one does look a little bit iffy. Almost like kind of cartoonish texture. But I guess so is the face and also the beard. So some fixing up would have to be done. Now strangely nothing was actually done to the background. We still see the slug. Oh yeah, one thing I don't understand is this. This should be a tear, not liquid. Unless he's steaming hot and this is actually aluminium plate. And in that case, yeah, it could actually be liquid aluminium. Now, based on the original image quality, I think the end result is actually great. And you do have other workflows if you want to increase the image resolution even more and get better detail. But that can be for another video. I just wanted to show you how you can actually use something like Nano Banana and have it work even on images that do not for some reason work on Nano Banana. In my opinion, this image is legitimate. Now, it does depend on what you actually want to do with it. I just wanted to show what you can do. Now, Nano Banana did not like this image, but it did a good job with with this image. I think it did an excellent job. But again, I have no idea what kind of limitations we actually have on the free plan. Because you do have pricing and well, at least we know that there is a limitation when it comes to editing images of children. Did for some reason think that Mr. T was a child? Hopefully not. Now, if you don't have a good enough machine to run custom models to make your own images, I suggest you go to Hugging Face. In this case, I've used Quen Image Edit, but you do have a bunch of other spaces to play with. The latest one was this one, when 2.2, first and last frame, so you can make videos. You can also make some voice overs, so podcasts from scripts and voice samples and a lot of other things. You can then also improve on that when it comes to images at least. And if it allows you to, you can use something like Nano Banana, but otherwise you can do awesome stuff with Comfy UI. And not only can you just grab an image of a workflow and put it in, you can also download a JSON workflow if that is what you want. That's it for this video. If you found it helpful and would like to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel. I'm Simon and until next time Jackal, keep it digital.